Hey guys, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Kate Nelson and I am a senior at St. Dominic High School. And when this quarantine thing began, I was sure it'd just be like a fun little break from school. I'd get to hang out with my friends all the time, but I didn't realize that it'd be such a long time away from people and such a long break from the Eucharist. And when things started getting canceled, I was like really sad and wished it would, didn't have to be that way. And throughout that, I was slowly drifting away from Christ without even realizing it. And I started realizing it kind of around Easter. And I decided that, okay, I'm drifting away from God. I have all these anxieties. I'm just going to lay them at the foot of the cross. And from laying my struggles at the foot of the cross, I was able to finally rejoice on Easter Sunday because a good friend once told me that there would be no resurrection without the crucifixion. So I kind of see our struggles as like the time leading up to that and there's something so great that's going to come out of this and that's already coming out of it right now. So I want you guys to know that this struggle is a gift and I know it is not easy to keep our eyes pointed to the heart of Jesus, but if we do, we will not be shaken in this time. And another really valuable lesson I've learned in this time is that my identity does not lie in who I talk to, what I wear, where I go, what I own. When everything's stripped away, the only thing that I find my identity in is Christ, and it should be like that always. So basically, during this quarantine, I've been trying to strive for Christ in many different ways, some of them being the rosary, um, just chatting with my friends about Christ, and kind of just reading Bible passages, and marrying consecration. But my favorite has been just trying to see God in the little things every day, whether that be a really pretty sunset, just the little tiny moments of each day. Some other really fun things I've been doing if you need some quarantine life ideas. Um, I really like hammocking, cooking new recipes, painting, slip and slides, and my personal favorite, a good old game of Family Four Square. But all that being said, know of my prayers for all of you, and please keep me in your prayers, but more importantly, everyone who is struggling with the coronavirus and people who have had it and had loved ones pass away from it. So, yeah, thank you. I will see you all soon.